Hi and welcome to a new video. In today's video I'm reviewing the Simo X5 SW quadcopter. It is a very popular cheap drone, only costs around 45 pounds or dollars. The drone is not too big and very lightweight. The dimensions are 310 by 310 by 105 mm with a weight of only 120 grams, including the battery, camera and the prop guards. The battery is a 500mAh LiPo battery and it is enough for around 6 or 7 minutes of flight time. To get it fully charged you need around 40 minutes, so it's a good idea to get some extra batteries when you are buying the drone, as they are not too expensive. I got mine with 5 batteries in total. The remote requires 4 AA batteries and it is not included, so be sure you have some around your house. The distance is rated between 50 and 100 meters and I would say sometimes it is even less. It has a 2 megapixel camera and it is advertised as HD video recording, but it is nowhere near that. The resolution of the recorded video is 640 by 480 with a very low bitrate. Because the camera is not stabilized, the recorded video is very choppy. The video is recorded to your phone, the camera doesn't have an SD card or its own memory. To connect the drone to the controller, all you have to do is to turn the controller on, after that you have to turn the drone on. The lights are start to flash on the drone. Just push the left stick up and down quickly on the controller. Then the lights should turn solid and the drone is connected to the controller. So let's take it to a test flight. As you can see, the recorded video is very poor quality. The drone is basically unusable in high winds and it also has some troubles with lower winds as well. It is very fun to fly around. You can't go too far and too long before you have to change the battery. It is made out of cheap plastic but it is very sturdy. Thanks to its lightweight, you don't have to be worried if you crash it, especially on grass. Sometimes the controller loses the connection. It happened two times to me and the wind just took the drone away, so keep in mind that and try to fly it on a big open spaces without people around you. The conclusion is that it is an inexpensive starter drone, it is fun to fly it, the video is unusual and it struggles in a wind. If you are planning to buy your first drone, then maybe it is a good idea to get this one first, so you can play around with it, get some practice before you spend more money on a more expensive one. I hope you liked the video, if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.